Xanthoproteic test is a qualitative biochemical test to detect and differentiate aromatic amino acids containing phenolic or indolic groups such as phenylalanine, tyrosine, and tryptophan from other non-aromatic amino acids. It is also used to detect the presence of proteins containing such aromatic amino acid units in their structure. The test is named xanthoproteic due to the formation of a yellow substance called xanthoproteic acid during the test. Xanthoproteic acid is a non-crystallizable yellow substance derived from proteins and aromatic amino acids upon the treatment with concentrated nitric acid. This yellow nitrated product then turns deep orange with the addition of a basic or alkaline solution such as ammonia or a hydroxide. The xanthoproteic test is based on the principle that aromatic groups in the amino acids or proteins are nitrated by heating with concentrated nitric acid to yield yellow-colored nitro derivatives called xanthoproteic acid. Upon the addition of an alkali, however, the xanthoproteic acid turns orange due to the formation of a salt of this nitro compound. The aromatic amino acid phenylalanine gives a weak positive reaction only after an extended period of heating because the phenyl group in phenylalanine is quite stable and doesn't react with nitric acid under normal conditions. In this video, we'll demonstrate positive and negative xanthoproteic tests using samples of aromatic amino acid, non-aromatic amino acid, and a protein with aromatic amino acid units. To perform this test, we'll need the following. Test samples consisting of 1% solutions each of tyrosine, tryptophan, phenylalanine, glutamine or any other non-aromatic amino acid, egg albumin, casein or any other protein containing aromatic amino acids, and distilled water as control sample. Concentrated nitric acid. 40% sodium hydroxide or ammonium hydroxide solution, 7 clean dry identical test tubes, 9 graduated droppers or pipettes of 1 or 2 ml capacities, test tube stand, test tube holder. To begin the test, take the 7 appropriately labeled test tubes in the test tube stand. Using 7 different droppers or pipettes, add 1 ml each of the 5 test samples including the distilled water. The tube containing the distilled water will serve as the negative control for this experiment. Now using a separate dropper or pipette, add 1 ml each of concentrated nitric acid to all the 7 tubes. Mix the tubes well by gently swirling them. The tube containing the protein solution such as egg albumin might develop a white or cloudy precipitate due to the denaturation of the protein by the acid. Place the tubes in boiling water bath for about 30 seconds to a minute. Observe the change in color, if any, in the seven tubes. You'll notice that the tube containing the aromatic amino acids tyrosine, tryptophan, and the tube containing the egg albumin and casein immediately turns yellow after the addition of the nitric acid and heating in the water bath. Remove the tubes and cool them under running tap water or by immersing them in ice cold water. Now add 1 or 2 ml each of 40% sodium hydroxide or ammonium hydroxide solution to the tubes. Mix well and observe for color change, if any, in the tubes. Again, the tubes containing the tyrosine, tryptophan, the egg albumin, and casein will turn yellow to orange or brownish in color. The tube containing the casein solution also shows a very faint yellowish color. This implies that egg albumin as well as casein are two such proteins that contain some amount of aromatic amino acids in their structure. Both colors are considered positive xanthoproteic reaction. The rest of the tubes, including the control tube, do not show any significant color changes throughout the test, whether yellow or orange. This is a negative xanthoproteic reaction. In the case of the test tube containing phenylalanine, 
If the concentration of the sample is increased and kept in the water bath and allowed to react with the nitric acid for a prolonged period of time, it might show a faint yellowish color on addition of the alkali solution. This experiment using different test samples clearly demonstrates the positive xanthoproteic reaction shown by aromatic amino acids and proteins containing aromatic amino acid units. It also demonstrates the delayed but positive reaction shown by phenylalanin, which has a very stable phenyl group as previously explained at the start of this video. This is all about the xanthoproteic test for aromatic amino acids. Make sure to watch my other biochemical test videos as well by clicking on the end screen card shown on the screen right now or the various links given in the description below. Thanks for watching.